Hey, this is Yuda for BeatLab. Uh, another student's question, he asked how we can work with contact and get multiple outputs uh, for different tracks in Ableton. So I'm going to load contact here. Just have one MIDI track. Nice contact. Very powerful sampler. One of the leading in the markets. A lot of companies make uh, multi-sampled instruments for it. Really great stuff. Okay, so let's load an instrument here, maybe like a grand piano. Excellent. I can play it already. Good. Um, it's already routed to MIDI channel one and output stereo one. Nice. Um, I'm gonna click on the output and I'm gonna cr choose create separate master output channel. Nice, I'm gonna open up the outputs. Here you can uh, hide the inserts, we don't really need to see them. But now we see we get another channel. Let's do it again, just so you can see, I'm gonna delete this channel and create another one here. Create it here. I'm gonna click on the outputs and I'm gonna set it to a different output, let's say three and four. Although this is the first instrument, so it can be one and two if you want. Excellent. Now if I play it, nothing happens. We do see it coming out from contact channel three and four, but nothing is happening in Ableton. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna open up a new MIDI track, and I'm gonna go to instruments and load external instrument. Nice, this device allows us to send MIDI to somewhere and receive audio from somewhere. Very useful for actual external instruments like synths and sound modules and uh, drum machines and those type of stuff. I'm gonna send MIDI to contact, uh, MIDI channel one, yes, and output from, let's play it. It's already set to three, four, auxiliary one is three, four. Nice, now we have this individual track Let's call it Grand Piano, and it's controlled. We can sequence it with MIDI, and it's only on this track. Now, in contact, let's add another instrument. I'm gonna fold this one. Let's add, let's say, Exhale from a company called Output. Really great stuff. This is for uh, like vocal uh, samples. Let's expand it. Oh, expand it. Nice. Now, uh, let's set it a different output. Next time we got another channel here. Set it to five and six. Hit OK. Awesome, it's already MIDI channel two. So in live, another MIDI track, external instrument, MIDI two, contact, in this case, MIDI channel two. And the audio from, if you're not sure, you can just uh, open it up, play something. Oh, play something, open it up, and then you can see where it is, let's set it up to auxiliary two. Sorry. Nice, and you can continue and add more and more tracks. Just remember to create more outputs for them in contact and a different MIDI channel if you wanna control them from a different MIDI track. Now, all of this is also uh, doable in sample packs for drums, let's say Studio Drummer. <clears throat> now in this case, let's say close the browser. In this case, you will have to add channels uh, for as many drum elements as you have. I believe in this one, we have about 11. So I'm gonna do right here, uh, just add channels. Click on Add Channels, to Quantity 11. Each channel is a stereo, uh, although you don't really have to for kick and stuff. Um, and I'm also gonna start it from Auxiliary 1. Ascending Output Assignment is enabled, is checked. Hit OK. It's gonna create all these different uh, outputs for me, uh, channels, and already route them to different outputs. Nice. Now, in the Studio Drummer or any other type of uh, drumming uh, sample library, for contact, you can go to Mixer, click whichever element you want, then go to Settings, and here you can select uh, a different output. Awesome. So this is how you take contact and output it to individual tracks in Ableton, and also sequence it from individual MIDI clips. Uh, sweet. Hit me up with any other questions. This is Yuda for BeatLab. Catch you next time.